All right, guys, welcome to video three of today. <laughs> um, in this video, I'm going to be going over the spoilers, or not spoilers. I'm going to, uh, okay. This video is going to be my reaction, my initial reaction. I just watched the episode less than an hour ago to the new episode of Dragon Ball Super. Okay? Spoilers. Spoiler warning. You have been warned. This is Strike 2. Okay? I'm going to give you Strike 3 in a second. Now, before I get into it, I just want to tell you guys this, okay? I've been working on the manga a lot recently, and I don't think the quality has gotten lower. However, I've been doing backgrounds less because I feel like they're not really needed in most scenes. Like, a lot of my manga, the purpose for it is like dialogue and a story. So, I don't really care for like background or anything like that, that much. However, if I did have a canvas to work off of and I could just place a background, I would do that. And, um, yeah. Like, not make it the same, but, you know, like, have, like, something to start off with. If I had, like, a, something to start with, then I can make it look amazing. But since I have to do everything from scratch, even though I do that with my, um, characters, it's just kind of difficult. So... I just wanted to say that in case you're still pondering on whether you should um, watch this video. So here's warning three. This video is going to contain spoilers for Dragon Ball Super episode 130. If you haven't watched it, watch it. This is technically a force uh, warning. Force? <laughs> a force warning. It's a force warning if you're into Star Wars. No, I'm joking. Uh, let's get into this. So the episode, oh, this is not a review, I'm not Geekdom 101, okay? This is initial thoughts. So the episode is, for the most part, like I said in my non-spoiler, them fighting. Goku is getting his butt whooped at first, I'm not gonna lie. He's getting beat up, and it's pretty freaking cool. Like, I don't, I, the whole time I was cheering for Goku, but I was still happy that Jiren was, like, kicking his butt. Because he was hyped to be this really strong character... And all the time in Dragon Ball, once someone transforms or gets a new form, they immediately overpower the other. That wasn't the case. They went even. It was an even one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you could say Frieza, but Goku transformed and then overpowered um, Frieza in the um, in the Namek Saga. So, I guess. I don't know. But it was really cool. So they, you know, they keep punching. Goku throws his signature Kamehameha. Now, just know this. I don't speak Japanese, and I haven't seen the sub yet. So I don't know the dialogue, and to be honest, I don't really care for it. Mainly Krillin and Gohan just cheering them on. Pretty much everyone cheering them on. So it's not really that important. But what really got me was about halfway through the episode, after the um, commercial break, when uh, Goku started, like thinking about all his friends, you know, or not Go Goku, Master Roshi was like, oh, hey, Goku has been through all this stuff, you know, he's been through, like, um, fighting Frieza, fighting Vegeta, all this, and to make his payoff be practically nothing is horrible, like, it would be a letdown, and then Jiren, after getting, like, raffle stomped by Goku, like, doing his rush move, from Xenoverse, but without the ball thing. Speaking of which, this is a spoiler video, so I can say this. He didn't even use his freaking ball move from Xenoverse? That better be in the next episode. If Goku better somehow get Ultra Instinct again and use that move, because that will be very disappointing if it's just a game-exclusive move like Final Kamehameha. That would be so stupid. Anyway, yeah, we didn't get to see that. And if it was there, I didn't see it. Like, I did not see that move at all. I just saw Goku beating the crap out of him. I don't really think that substitutes for him throwing a huge freaking ball of energy. That looks really cool. But, let's get back to the topic. Or, on topic. Or, track, whatever. So, Jiren is remembering his family, too. Or, not his family. He's remembering, like, his childhood. And what he went through. And he's like, okay, I went through this mother effer. So, it's time for me to kick your butt. And Goku's like, alright, whatever. Again, these are my reactions. I know I sound like I'm reviewing it, but I'm not trying to. And I thought that was also freaking amazing. 
is like they're both putting like they're uh, they put their not their life i'm trying to think of the right words uh they're they're thinking of the things that matter the most to them and why they deserve to win and why they will win so they're pushing each other constantly they're uh constantly breaking their limits so to speak <laughs> um and then here's what I really love about the episode. Goku starts destroying Jiren. Destroying him. Destroying him. He freaking destroyed this dude. Like, he shot a blast at him, and he was gone. He, it was done. It was over. Like, uh, I, for, I forgot how to say it in Japanese. Whatever. doesn't matter. And I just... I just turned into a freaking ball of what the hell. Like, really? It's that easy? And I was thinking the whole time, no, th this isn't over. It's not over. At first, I was thinking Goku was going to, like, get him to ring out, but he'd come back again, like, uh, that one time. No, I'm joking. Um, and I was so surprised. And I was like, okay, so Goku wins? That's it? It's over. Goku wins, right? Wrong. You want to know what happens? Plot armor! That's right. I don't know what happens, but there's, like, this scene where Goku, like, gets this purple... It looks like... It looks like Mista's arcane form, basically. So, Mista's arcane form, like, shrouds him and starts beating Goku up for no reason. Like, I don't know how this happened. I don't know. Like, what just... Did he run out of energy? Like, dude, what just happened? I don't know. But that's beside the point. The point is this. Is Goku again... Or not again. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm going like... I'm losing my focus. So Goku starts... You know... Losing his energy. Oh, I forgot to say this. Oh wait, this isn't a review. Whatever. I don't have to say it again. Uh, and... It... I was like... Bro. Really? Really? You... I got um, flashbacks from Resurrection F, basically. At first, I thought Frieza shot him. Like, and they teased us with it being Jiren. But it was actually, um, something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And so I was so confused. I was like, oh, okay. Um, is Goku done? Is he not done? I don't know. Then Jiren throws this, or is about to shoot this dude off the ring. And it's over. Game over, right? <laughs> Wrong. Not only... Not only does the guy you see in front of you... Sickle. No, I'm, I'm joking. Not only does Sickle... Sickle. Really? Not only does Frieza come out of the rubble... Guess who else comes out? <laughs> My boy, 17. Yeah! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! 17! Yeah, boy! Um... Speaking of which, I know you guys don't really care about this, but a couple of days ago, I went to Amazon.com and I bought a freaking, you know, the standard rise figure that I reviewed, the Vegeta one. Yeah, I got an Android 17 one, but since the Ranger 17 one is now, I have to go with the Dragon Ball Z Ranger 17. Not Ranger 17, sorry, my bad. Just a normal Android 17 with the uh, scarf and all that. So, yeah. I was trying to talk really fast right there, but it didn't work, but hopefully this time it works. Um, okay. So, that's, that's, I don't know what to think about that. Like, I like 17, but I think he's overhyped. Um, and overhyped doesn't mean bad. It doesn't mean he's a bad character. I'm not saying Android 17 is a bad character. He's not. He's not a bad character. I love everything he's done in the tournament. However, he is overhyped. Like, think about this. Just think about it this way. Um... Let's say you, um, let's say you're, you were in a football team, right? Or if you're from, not from America, like, yeah, still a football team. Like, <laughs> Americans, all, my American viewers think of, like, you know, th throw football. Non-Americans think of, like, kick football, okay? Just think of that. Pretend you're, because it's like, I'm not really going to go specifically into it. Like, pretend you're a player, Okay. And 
you know, you're like beating the other team, okay? And you're constantly beating the other team. All right. And then you start losing. You start losing a few matches and you're like, oh, shoot, dude, really? This is embarrassing. So then you stop playing sports. However, you train a lot, but without playing the sport. You don't you don't train with anyone. You just uh you just train by yourself. You try practicing the sport, right? Okay? You try kicking the football, you try throwing the football. Um I know I said I want to get into specifics, but I did, whatever. So then you go back and you join a team. You're like, okay, I'm ready to join a team. And then you make like five points out of ten. You make half the points. And then everyone cheers you on. But the people who have been on your team and didn't leave the team, they get recognized, but not as much as you. Yeah, that's that's what it feels like. Um, and I guess you could argue that Android 17 is the reason why Universe 7 is has gotten so far. I'm not going to say they won, because obviously they haven't yet. But that doesn't mean that he deserves to be, like, shown as the hero or whatever. Everyone in the term tournament, except Kof, Tien, Kof. I still love Tien, though. Um, from his Dragon Ball Z days. Tien is freaking awesome. I don't care what anyone says. But, he, I don't know. 17 is an awesome character. In fact, one of my favorites, like I'd say top 10, Dragon Ball Super, not Z. Z, he sucks. Um, I'm joking. He's a good villain in Z, but a good, good guy? No, no. <laughs> uh, but in Super, he's one of my top 10 favorite characters. So is Gohan. And here's the thing. Gohan is my second favorite super character. You may be like, oh, you're being biased then. Because uh, a lot of Gohan fanboys say that he was the MVP. No, I don't think Gohan is the MVP either. He is not the MVP. And I'm not even talking about MVP. I'm just talking about, like, hypedness. Gohan was overhyped as well. He was. Not in the fan term, but in the actual story writing term. Gohan was said, oh, I'm going to achieve this form of my own, you know? I'm, I'm going to do something that isn't, you know, Super Saiyan Blue. He's the only Saiyan in the tournament who doesn't get a new form. In fact, in fact, he's the only Saiyan who doesn't transform into Super Saiyan. The whole tournament. Kaba did, Khalifa did, Kale did, Goku did, Vegeta did. Guess who didn't become a Super Saiyan? Gohan. And that disappointed me. Um, but yeah, he was also overhyped. But he's still one of my favorite characters. Why? It's not because of, you know, people saying that he's... A cool character. Oh, Gohan sucks because he uh he got rung out before even Seventeen did. Well, when you consider everything that Seventeen did, Gohan's not far from it. And they both did great things in the tournament. Now I do think Seventeen is above Gohan in the tournament, but that doesn't mean he's better. It just means that he survived longer. Because if Gohan wasn't going against the dude that they had to eliminate quickly because he freaking ran away from every attack and he was basically just some random rabbit, he would probably still be in the tournament. Um, not, not as far as Vegeta, though. I think Vegeta would have gotten farther. farther. But still, I think 17 is a little overhyped. A little. <laughs> He's not a little overhyped. He's overhyped. And I'm going to stand by that. But again, that doesn't mean I don't like him. That doesn't mean he is a bad character. 
that doesn't mean he has bad character writing. No. It's just people will say that a character is cool just because they come out of the ashes and do stuff. As a matter of fact, if Seventeen was this strong, why didn't he help them fight Goku Black? If Seventeen was this strong, why didn't they help them fight Golden Frieza? Exactly. Seventeen is, again, overhyped. He's done cool things. Yeah, so is Gohan. So is Goku. So is Vegeta. So is freaking Krillin. Krillin has done cool things for a human. Yeah, he's done cool things. At least he un eliminated someone unlike T Well, I think Tien eliminated someone, but actually like two people, but that's it. Krillin eliminated like three. No, I'm joking. I think Krillin actually has less eliminations, if you think about it. No. Krillin has more eliminations than uh, Tien. Or the same. I don't know, I forgot. But yeah, um, Android 17 is overhyped. Cool, awesome, great character. Yes, I can't deny that. But he's overhyped. I don't, I don't, like, I don't even have an answer for why he's over, like, I don't even have, not for overhyped. I know why he's overhyped, because I can't find the answer for why people like him so much. Like, I can't figure it out. And yes, he is the MVP of the tournament. I'm not going to get that out of the way. He is. But people were like literally crying because 17 died. Like, okay. And when Master Roshi died, no one cried. Roshi's been there since episode freaking three of Dragon Ball. And you guys don't cry for him. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, yeah, I get that he didn't die, but <laughs> due to the new episode, neither is 17. So, you guys better put those damn tears away. And, uh, I don't know. Just do something. But anyway, I wanted to thank you all for watching this video. Um, of me leveling up Rosato over and over again. And ranting about why Dragon or uh, why Android 17 is overhyped, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed my spoiler review. <laughs> Not review, sorry, my initial reactions. And yes, that was a reaction. That counts as a reaction. Me um, talking about how Android 17 is overhyped. That is a reaction, because he is. Because I know that in the next episode, people are already going to be theorizing, Oh, Android 17 is going to get his boat. He's going to get his boat. Because he's back. He's alive. He's going to get his boat for his family. That's what the wish is. Now the universes are coming back. We're not going to see Hit again. We're not going to see Kaba. We're not going to see Khalifa. We're not going to see Kale. No, we're, we're going we're gonna to see... We're gonna see, um, we're gonna see Android 17 on a boat with his family. That's what's gonna happen. Um, no, that's not what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is what the riders want. And if they want Android 17 to get the boat, sure, go ahead. But don't be theorizing that shit just because Android 17 is back. He's back and he's smoking crack. Hallelujah. No. That's not going to happen. Well, it, it might, but... Don't say it like it's going to happen 100%. Speaking of 100%, I have a 100% battery on my phone. <laughs> Just joking. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching this dumb old video. It's like probably really long. I don't care. Like something else of mine. My Toys R Us gift card. Wait, you thought I was going to say... I thought I was going to say my... Nasty. You nasty. And I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that may be. Goodbye.